Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the project bends. I've got the Eat My Shirt, we've got the No Grit, and then we also have the Worm Chow bin that we're going to take a look in on. Alright, so it's not enough to make another whole video out of each one, so they're all going to get lumped together. Alright, hold on, and I will get you put up on the tripod. Alright, so first, first comes first is the Eat My Shirt bin. And even though things have been getting progressively damp, more damp, uh, down here I, I did put uh, that cover on the top of it uh, for unknown reasons. So let's take a look at the Eat My Shirt bin. I think, do I just have the one shirt? I just have the one shirt, okay. Alright, so taking a look in on the university shirt. I don't know. I'm kind of like regretting putting this in the worm bin. Still might have been a good shirt. Oh, wait. There we go. That's how you know it's ready to go. So, that was the first tear, and we are at June 14. All right, let's see what the rest of the food is doing in here, because really, we all know they're not just eating my shirt. Um, more food has to come. Ooh, oh God, what is that? Okay. A really far gone mango and some happy little worms. Actually, they're probably not happy that I just kicked them over. Let's see, there's also an onion in here. What is a weird smell? Onion mango? It's like uh, mango chutney or salsa or something. Weird. Moisture looks about right. Doesn't look like it's anywhere near becoming a problem kind of get all the way all the way through to see if there's anything interesting happening here not so much but they still have that mango which now that it's squished they should be able to get into it pretty good looks like there might have been a bit of a worm ball there for the mango and I ruined it because I didn't know it was happening I'll flip the onion over but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure that the worms need any more food. Oh, there's a tomato, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think they need any more food. I think that's, that's enough food for the uh, amount of worms that are in the bin right now. Um, I had planned, I brought food down to feed them just in case, but it looks like they're okay. But what I am going to do is I'm going to mound this up and bury the shirt so the shirt is underneath the castings so that it gets good contact all the way through. Get that avocado label out of there. And I'm going to cover it up. It's still a good moisture. I'm not really worried about it. All right, and then on to the no grit bin. All right, here we are in the no grit bin. Um, this was started with a lot of uh, leaf bedding at the time, and looks like they're making their way through it. Um, kind of spend a little bit of time looking to see if I see any cocoons, because I think that was where I was worried. I was worried that, you know, maybe the, oop, looks like I, ugh, just, got into some rice there. Let's put that back under there for now. Oh, that smells lovely. No, no it doesn't. Um, so, oh, I, I see a couple of worms in the middle of it. So, um, not seeing any cocoons. Springtails, of course, are doing their thing. Springing. Hmm, not really seeing any cocoons. If anybody sees any cocoons, put that in the message below. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any. What? Nope, right? Yep, there it is. Two of them. One right there, and then if I don't drop it, there's another one, and I drop it. Anywho, so they are making cocoons. That was my one part that I was worried about. 
So looks like they're doing pretty good making their way through all of this leaf bedding. Um, I will move that so you can see the worm ball. I mean, that's why we're all here, right? So this is a rice frenzy. There's more, but I don't really want to disturb the rice. Because that really smells horrible. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, that's the thing about rice. It does make nice worm balls. But uh, it smells terrible. Oh, jeez. How can you guys stand that? You must not have a sense of smell. Yuck. Kind of clean my hands off with the castings. Yuck. All right, you know it's got to be bad if it's grossing me out, right? All right, put the lid on, and then we will look at the worm chow only bin. And I'm just going to stack these because it's in better light. So let's take a look and see what's going on with these guys. Oddly enough, I'm not seeing any springtails. Isn't that weird? Like the bin I just got done with was lousy with springtails. And this one that's just worm chow doesn't have any springtails in it. Huh. That's interesting. Because it's pretty much all of my bins are kind of losing their mind with springtails right now. So, looks like they're doing good. Part of the project is to kind of see if they get to be huge worms, and I'm not seeing that we've made it to the part of the project where I'm finding any huge worms, but then these were just the regular compost mix. So they're red worms, blue worms, and European night crawlers. So I would think if there was euros in here that they would be getting to be a good size. But I do see that they make up a very small amount of the pool population uh, when you have the mix. I don't know if they breed slower or what the story is, but you don't normally see as many of the euros in the three-way mix. It's mostly red worms and blue worms. All right. And uh, that was the three projects that I planned to do, but let me take you down to the leftover bins. Okay, so this is handheld, so sorry if it's a little bumpy. But this is what I do with my screening overs. I usually just put them all in the same bin, and then I, I kind of treat it like a regular bin. I just I feed it and everything, um, but... You know, it's just basically trying to get them to work through all of the stuff that just didn't quite finish up in the previous bin. So you can see there's a lot of seeds in here. Uh, my husband's favorite, you know, compostable bags. They work all right once you microwave them before you put them in the bin, but honestly, I'm never buying them again. That's not happening. But yeah, so I just go ahead and I feed this like a regular bin and... Um, when it seems like the castings are getting into kind of a, a condition that I think I might be able to sift them again, I don't add any more um, bedding. I think this is a piece of bread that's turned into a brick. Um, but yeah, I don't uh, give them any more bedding. I just give them food and I sift them all out. I don't know, every month or so. But I, I keep feeding them along with my regular bins and and uh, so they just kind of continue on with all of their long-term stuff. Over here is another one of the leftover bins. You can, you can kind of tell that this is what's at the top of a bin. It, it looks like little pebbles, kind of. Um, I think the last time I fed them, I gave them bread or something. But yeah, so I think it was super wet, so I did put some bedding in here to kind of dry it up a little bit because it was muddy wet when I harvested it. But you can see there's a lot of worms in here, all sizes, big, little, small, probably cocoons. 
But same story, I just continue feeding this and eventually when it looks like as I'm going through that, that I might be able to sift it again, then I do. And then whatever's left over gets combined into the leftover bin again. Some interesting color of mold, what is that? I think that's rice, but this must have been really dry. Some nice pretty blue mold, I don't know how many mycologists there are out there. But yellow mold and blue mold, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that pretty? The worms certainly think so. Think so. All right. Well, that that is it for the project bins for right now. Uh, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, it ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.